Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com from the US. And today it's a pull tab card that, um, pull tab flap that I got uh, inspired by Glitter Dawn. So here it is. And I changed the size a little bit here. Et voila! So I'm going to share with you how to uh, do this and I'm using some of the new color of 2019-2021 20, uh, it's going to be. So first thing you want to do, I'm using um, a pretty peacock and this measure 2 inch wide by 6. This is going to be the pull out. We're going to score this at 2. Let's score this at 2. And then we're going to score this at two and a half. So two and two and a half. Again, this measure two by six. All measurements will be on my blog, just below in the description. Just click on that and you're going to have all the measurement there. Now I'm using a different punch here. I'm using the delightful tag topper. I absolutely love this. Now, this is score, score, so you get a short part and a long part. We're going to use the long part and we're going to slide this in all the way down. And here we go. Beautiful, beautiful little punch. And now the next punch, it is the classic label, the pointy one there. I'm using a piece of designer siri paper in the peacock, uh, I mean pretty peacock. This one here measured three and a half by four and three quarter. I'm going to take this and we're going to center that. And this paper is very easy to center. I got about one there, about one there, and then that look about right. So there, there, that look about right. And I push it all the way down. Et voila. Now we get this. The next piece for this uh, I'm using, uh, oops, first let's back up the bus. Now I pre-done my two square that we're going to use. So I got the scallop uh, square here and this one when I put the ruler I go right at the edge of the scallop there to the scallop here. It's two and three quarter. So that's the one for the top and the one for the inside is the one that is just barely short of two inch. So it's like two seven eight. And again, when I measure, I measure on where it's raised up, where it cut. So I already pre uh, cut this and now I'm using one of the new stamp set free as a bird. Your friendship means the world to me. That's what I stamp inside with the peacock, uh, pretty peacock. And also I stamp this little flower here in Daffodil Delight. This is going to get glue right on top of this. So I'm going to use my Tombow and I'm going to put that in the back of this. And this one you're going to all the glue over it. Now I'm going to put that right here. So it leaves just a little border. Like I said, it's just barely short of the 2 by 2 So you can always cut that by hand also. Here we go. Now the next step, it's the scallop one that I use. Let me show you the stamps. I use the colorful season. So let me bring a scrap paper here. Hmm. Well, well, do I have a scrap paper here? I got very scrap paper here. Here we go. And then we're going to use a uh, soft suede. And that is the branch from Colorful Season. And here I add a little bit of a challenge. I wanted to have some leaves. Well, I couldn't find leaves. I, the one in the colorful season with the bird here, it was a bit too big. Um, it was the maple leaf and it was a bit too big. I didn't go for it. So I looked through my stamp and I find out that the butterfly wishes that tiny leaf here was just what I needed. And I could have used this branch, but I already had stamped this once. So that's why I stay with that. But now I got that lovely leaf in there that worked perfect. 
So I'm using Pure Possess. And if you look at the leaf, I didn't even put the sticker in the back. I was so busy. I mean, in a rush to do it, I was so excited. The pointy part's going to be the top. It's a little bit more pointy. This is more rounded. That's going to be attached to the branch. This is going to be the part that it's loose. So now I'm going to come here, put one there, one there. That one I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to put another one here. Here we go. And here I'm going to put two also. And over here. And this one I'm going to put three of them. Here we go. And then I had a little bit in the corner here just to add a little bit more color to this. Like it's another branch someplace at the top that we don't see. Oh, I smeared there a bit. We're going to figure that one out. Here we go. Perfect. Now we got that done. Now, this one here, I use the foam strip. It make it thicker than um, the dimensional. Uh, you can use dimensional or the foam strip. I like it because I did a strip strip. This time we're going to try it with just dimensional. So we're going to use, I got um, the Pretty Peacock that measure eight and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter. I'm going to reinforce that there. Then I get delightful um, daffodil, De delightful daffodil. Whew. It's too many video in a row here. Delightful da daffodil that measure five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. The next one is going to be Whisper White that measure five by three and three quarter. Five by three and three quarter. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, now the next step here. That's where the trick, the magic happened. Put it that way. You're going to put your uh, long piece in. And you see, <coughs> it kind of looks funny. It would be too long, right? Don't worry about that. First thing you, oops, first let's remove that. Let's back up the bus. So you can um, put um, tear and tape or um, a tombow, whatever you prefer. I'm using Tombow for this and now I'm going to take this. Okay, this is my front. This is so it's going to go this way. We're going to turn this upside down here and it's about two scallop on each side to be centered at. I'm going to center that right here and I want to make sure that is you put the glue in between your two score. Okay, you put the glue between the two score. You're going to press this, press this, make sure Give it a little bit to dry there. And now this part here, that's this part that's going to get glue. But you don't want to do like me. I had put glue all over there. That's a no-no. Put that in. Now you're going to take your glue. You can use tear and tape, just a strip there, or the tombow. What's the beauty about tombow if you're not just, oops, just straight? you get a chance to move it. So now what you want to do is close this and try to center that. So before I smack it down, I'm going to try to make sure it's center. That looked pretty good to me. Now I'm going to press this here. We're going to turn this around. Is that pretty to the checkers on that side? Now we're going to use dimensional, like I said, the other one, I used the foam strip. So the foam strip, what I did, I put foam strip, 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 a little bit over here, there and there. So this time, I just, I'm going to add quite a bit of dimensional just because I don't want it to cave in and I want it to have a good place that it gives me the depth so I can pull this. So that should be good. Now let me uh, take my uh, tool picker here. Oh, not this part. This. And then let's remove this. 
Okay, that one is stuck there. Let me remove this. This one is stubborn for some reason. Well, maybe I get too much there. Let's remove this. Here we go. Well, this one here. I think it gets flipped. I think so. Here we go. So now we get that removed. Now we're going to take this and put this on top of our card front. See how simple it is? Here we go. And you see it's right at the edge and you don't want it more than at the edge because what would happen it wouldn't fit in the envelope that's what would happen now I got my little bird that from the free bird I color that with um, daffodil delight and both the light and the dark blends add a little bit of crumb cake and here you see a little bit of blue I use the balmy blue and now I free cut this and cut that. I'm going to put that right on the branch. How cute is he? Then I use a linen a braided linen braid. Now I'm going to fold this into. You're going to ask me how long, right? Well, this is too long. Put it that way. Uh, I'm going to say uh, like two, uh, four inch would be great. Just pull this here. Go from the back into. Then in your loop, open this up. Et voila. See, it was too long. So yeah, so about three inch would be about right. And then you get your little bird over here. Then when they see this, they're going to say, okay, we have to pull, right? Et voila. Is that fun? So now we get that done the inside i just used the same flower there that i put inside here this one it's in the yellow and in here i just used the pretty peacock and we're gonna put some adhesive in the back of this so now you can write your bff a nice little note et voila so this one here Make sure it's secure there. It is. This one, it's uh, the Pretty Peacock. And this one here, it's the Seaside Spray. Two new uh, in color. I just reverse a little bit. Like the yellow here would be like the white and so on. Excuse me. I'm going to have both measurements for both cards. So you don't have to say which one it's which. And I'm going to share with you how it fits in an envelope. And I would take this. Uh, it's a little bit thick because I get to, uh, but I think you don't need extra postage. You can check with your postmaster, but I think that would be good. It fit perfect. The ribbon just will push that way. And when, oh, when they pull it out, see? But, um, so that is it. So hope that I inspire you to use your new color and do one of those uh, pull tap, pull tap flap. I cannot say that word. So it's a pull tap flap. And um, all the measurement and also all the supplies will be listed there. All in the U.S. are welcome to shop at FrenchyStamps.com. And I appreciate your business. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.